If you're a hardcore football fan, you would remember that young kid that moved up the ranks from Castilla to the first team in 2013. He looked like Ronaldo, played like Ronaldo, and even celebrated like Ronaldo. And, uh, hmm, what was his name again? Yes, Kessie Rodriguez. What's the guy up to now? Where did he go? That's exactly the point of this video. We'll talk about players that will make you scratch your head and sometimes take a trip down memory lane. Now, if you're on Madrid, look away, because we're starting out this list with Pedro Rodriguez. The Spanish winger used to torment Real Madrid back in the day. He either scored or assisted in every Clasico. Pedro was really talented, and to this day, we think that this guy is massively underrated. After winning his third Champions League title in 2015, he left to join Chelsea in the Premier League. The Spanish had some great moments in England, but again, he never got the recognition he deserved. After five years with Chelsea, he joined AS Roma in 2020, and that's when he started to disappear in the shadows. Some of you might not even know that he's a Lazio player now, and at 36 years of age, he usually starts on the bench. Now, if you know this next name, then kudos to you, sir. The next guy on this list is Alan Halilovic. This name will either hit you like that scene from Ratatouille, or you'll just go like, who the hell is that guy? Alan was an 18-year-old Croatian youngster that Barcelona acquired for 5 million euros. He was their counter to Madrid signing Martin Odegaard in 2015. We were hearing big things being said about this kid. Some went as far as saying he's the next Messi. But as you can tell, he wasn't. Halilovic was sent out for many loan spells before being sold to Hamburg in 2016. He didn't manage to shine there or any of the clubs he played for. And trust me, there were too many clubs. Take a deep breath now. He played at Las Palmas, AC Milan, Standard League, Hirnaveen, Birmingham, Reading, Reka, and finally now he's at Fortuna Sittard in the Eredivisie. It's safe to say that he didn't live up to his potential. On the contrary, our next player is a very well-known striker that tore through Europe. El Matador, Edison Cavani. The Uruguayan was the real deal a very talented poacher that left a mark in every club that he's played at. If he has played for your club, then I can safely bet an eye that you love him. But do you know that he's playing in Argentina now? Yes, you've heard right. After leaving Man United in the summer of 2022, he joined Valencia in Spain, but he actually didn't get a lot of game time there. So he packed his bags and went back to South America to join Boca Juniors in Argentina. A bit shocking, ain't it? No more shocking than the downfall of Samuel Umtiti though. The French centre-back was literally on the top of the world in 2018. He won the World Cup with France, the Liga with Barcelona, and on top of all of that, he was a very exciting player. Umtiti was actually a very good defender, but it seemed like he was fed up with football after that amazing 2018 he had. Plus, he suffered from multiple knee injuries. Consequently, he was dropped from the Barcelona squad and later on he was loaned out to Lisi in Italy. As you can guess, he's warming the bench now, but what you may not know is that he's warming the bench at Losk Lille in his country. Talk about a fall from the heavens, huh? Moving on now, without cheating, do you know where Juan Mata is? If you said Galatasaray, then you're wrong mate. The Spanish magician is more or less a Premier League legend, but even at times during his stay at Man United, you'd forget he was even there. Mata joined Galatasaray in Turkey last season and even won the league with them. Maybe he's retired now then? Nope, he's actually playing in Vissel Kobe in Japan. Shocking, right? Hey, speaking of Man United, what the hell happened to Jesse Lingard? This guy didn't exactly disappear, but talk about a fall from grace, right? After literally being one of United's rock stars in 2017, Lingard disappeared into the shadows he had a purple patch on a loan spell with the Hammers in 2021, but he fell off the cliff after that. Even Nottingham Forest didn't think that he was good enough to renew his contract. Nah man, that's just sad. The state of the United wingers right now might actually make Ten Hag regret letting Lingard go. Speaking of Ten Hag, do you remember his legendary Ajax side? They were a bunch of outrageous young talents that all left the club the following season. And we're specifically talking about their Brazilian winger. Not Anthony, man, 
although fans in Old Trafford might want to see that one disappear. We're talking about David Neres. That kid was so talented back then. Where did he go? There were rumours about a move to Real Madrid and even Juventus. How did this guy end up at Shakhtar Donetsk in Ukraine? Neres is not at Shakhtar now though. He's warming the bench in Portugal with Benfica. Do you know who else piled his trade at Benfica? Julian Draxler. Damn man, Bundesliga fans know how special that man was at Schalke. He was a real talent that never got the recognition he deserved. Most of you won't know where the former World Cup winger is right now. Want to take a guess? Don't, because if you didn't hear in the news, you won't get it in a million years. Draxler is currently playing in the Qatari league with Al Ali. Now if you knew that, kudos to you my man. The upcoming player on this list was involved in one of the most shady deals in the 21st century. The Bosnian magician Miralam Janic was swapped with Arthur Mello in a deal between Barcelona and Juventus. We could go on to say that both players disappeared now, but we're focusing on Janic. Things didn't really work out for him at Barca. All the managers kept him on the bench long enough that he earned a spot in our missing players list. The Bosnian is currently plying his trade at Sharjah FC in the United Arab Emirates. We're ending this list with one of the few players in football history that you could identify by only seeing his haircut. The Chilean midfielder Antonio Vidal. Yes, Vidal hasn't retired yet. No judgement here man, even we thought that this guy had hung up his boots. But we found out that he didn't officially retire yet. After leaving Inter, he headed to Flamengo in Brazil and later on he moved to Atletico Paranaense and currently he's chilling at home with no club. Come on man, just retire already. If you're one of the legends that's still watching and wondering about Kessie Rodriguez, this guy is currently without a club after being involved in a match-fixing scandal with a team in Brazil. Crazy, right? Did we miss anyone? Let us know in the comments. And if you enjoyed this video, give it a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel. Also, turn on the bell notification so you never miss out on any new content. Catch you in the next one.